It's Chris Waddams here with Steve Goodwin. Um, we've just been at the weigh-in for the Christmas Cracker Show, which is tomorrow night down at your call. Um, good weigh-in, everyone made weight. Um, are you looking forward to tomorrow night, Steve? Great fight. Uh, great fight, great night. There's some great fights involved. There's five fights that the public will go there and not be sure who's going to win. And you know and I know when you go to boxing cards, how many times can you actually say on many cards there are five fights where nobody is really sure who's going to win each fight? Um, so I think that's really great for the for the fans. There's 16 fights on. I think Kevin's done a great job with it. And, you know, I think it's a really, really good night at boxing. So tomorrow night marks seven busy days for you, or eight busy days. Yeah. Um, so you've got your Christmas cracker show tomorrow night. Yeah. You've got the uh, repeat or revenge down in yeah. Portsmouth. And you've also got two um, two people that people may have heard of in Frank Bullioni and Derek Shazora fighting for British titles up in Manchester. Yeah. How, firstly, how are you going to split yourself between those two? Well, I can't. I mean, obviously, my, the Portsmouth show is promoted by Michael Ballingall and uh, Kevin... Uh, Campion and Josh will go to Portsmouth and represent me in Portsmouth. Stream, hopefully get the fight streamed to me so I can watch them. I obviously need to be in Manchester. I've got two fights fighting for British titles, so obviously I need to be. I have to be there. Um, and obviously we've got John McIntyre in this massive fight against Miles Shinkler. I'd love to be there as well, but I haven't got a jet to fly me in between two, uh, two, two things. And I think probably Frank Bugliani will be on the similar time to the time that Miles Shinkler will be fighting uh, Joel down in um, Portsmouth. So, yeah. Busy night for the light heavyweights with the English title and the British title on the exactly. line I mean, up the north. In both, in both, uh, both uh, competitions. So no, so it's great. It shows how far we're coming with our fighters in the big on the, on the big fights. And uh, it's, you know, if you're not going to look forward to those sort of nights, then you shouldn't be doing it. That's true. It's very true. So um, your stable keeps growing and growing. Um, we've seen this new BT deal with Frank Warren. Are you looking at TV deals for your for your stable soon enough? Or? We're working. We're, um, we at this stage in t- at this stage at the moment. I think on our own, we're probably not quite ready for TV yet. We're near, um, but there are lots of other things going on in sport boxing. I think over the next month or two, there'll be more announcements and more things going on. I think there's more. TV companies and Sky channels looking to get involved in boxing, I think it will widen, and when it widens, I think we'll be there to take part of it. I mean, this year we've had, we've provided support for the David Hay shows, both of those at the O2. We had three fighters on the Cyclone Promotions show last week on Spike and Channel 5, that show at Wembley. So it's showing that we're working with TV channels and their promoters in getting our fighters the opportunities, and that's our main aim at the moment. And we will continue to do that, sign more fighters, higher profile fighters, fighters at the start of their career, and make sure they get the best opportunities they can. Okay, it's good. It's good to hear. Um, we're going back to tomorrow night. You've got two Southern Area titles on the line. Um, if you had to pick one to tell people not to miss, which one would it be? Ben Day, Michael Devine. Yeah. I think no dis. Again, both are good. I think the Jamie Spate, Josh Kennedy will be probably a bit more of a technical fight. You've got Jamie Spate, who's got lots of experience against Josh Kennedy, who's a stylish amateur. So that's probably going to be the more technical of the two. Uh, the other fight, you've got Michael Devine, who just comes forward frame. You've got Ben Day, who's just totally eccentric and does things differently. And I think that could that probably is, could be the better spectacle. So if you ask me about those, uh, of those two, but... The fight cut final between Ryan Crawford and Carl Wheeler will be explosive. You won't want to miss that because that's not going the distance in a million years. Jordan Joseph, Eric Reconzo, light heavyweight for the challenge. Well, that's a cracking fight. And a rematch between Arlene and Joycey for the Southern Area Eliminator. You wouldn't know who's going to win that. They're great fights. And, you know, all of them you wouldn't want to miss. I won't be missing any of them and uh, won't be you know, missing any of them. They're just great fights. But of the two Southern Areas, I, I, I would assume... Ben Day, Michael Devine fight might be the better spectacle, but we'll see tomorrow. Okay. So you mentioned the uh, cup final between Carl and Ryan. Um, the winner of that will get a Southern Area title shot at Cruiserweight, which is a bit up in the air at the moment. Um, Isaac won the belt off Waddy in his yeah. last fight. Um, and I interviewed Waddy earlier and he told me that the ball, uh, Isaac's got five days to agree to a rematch. Well, no, the purse bids are during next Wednesday, which we will be submitting a purse bid. He hasn't pulled out yet, although he's intimated on social media he doesn't want the fight again. Um, so if he doesn't want the fight, we'd hope he'd pull out before we go to purse bids. If he goes to purse bids and we win the purse bid, then they've got 14 days to sign contracts. If they don't sign the contracts, then they have to relinquish the title. 
Um, Isaac's announced he's on the uh, Bellu Hey card, card, yeah. Which is great. So they're quite, what are we quite happy to, to, to do that? But if Isaac doesn't want the rematch, he says because uh, it's just going back on old ground, he can say that, but it was a very close fight and um, Waddy was nowhere near his best. But if he feels that, then he can bypass. But after the fight last time, everybody was saying they wanted a rematch, including Eddie Hearn. When the rematch has been forced upon them, and it was forced upon them by the board because of a regulation error that we were able to point out, they don't want it anymore. So, you know, we'll see. But I think they realise that that they may not be winning the rematch so easily. So, you know, they're probably looking at his career and thinking, let's bypass, we've done that, let's bypass. But, you know, vacating after just winning it is probably a little, not having the defence. Let me just turn that off for you. So you're saying that there's a possibility that Isaac will... Um, just say this? Sorry. Okay, and we're back. Sorry. That's all right. Um, busy man, I know you've got big, big <laughs> shows on. Um, I was saying if Isaac may vacate, which will leave the belt vacant... Um, Waddy then will fight the winner of, of Carl the Wheeler cup. and Ryan Crawford. Carl Wheeler and Waddy are friends. Who knows what's going to happen? That will be the decision between the two of them. I know Waddy said he'll do it anyway. Carl might want to wait and let that fight on and then fight for it, but it's up to him. Carl will have the right to fight for that immediately, or he might want to delay his challenge for it. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's answered my question before I even finished it there. <laughs> We've already, we always think ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, with this cup, it's been a pretty good success, except for uh, Biola dropping out. Um, are you looking to do it at other weights? Yes, yeah, we'll looking. We'll be looking after this one to sit down and decide what other weight we can do. Get more sponsors involved. Um, it wasn't helped by Biola pulling out in the last week of the semi-final. That doesn't help us attract sponsors for the next one. So it's you know that's a bit you know it's, it's okay when boxers do make these decisions, but people don't realise sometimes the effect it has on other boxers and further sponsors. And we would have got more sponsorship for this final. But once he pulled out, we couldn't. We got sponsorship, but we'd have had more sponsorship. There'd be more money for the winner. But unfortunately, that happened. But it's a concept we will take forward, and we will look at doing it other weights. Middleweight possibly is one that springs to mind. But we may look at doing that in March, April time. Okay. And will you be sticking with the four fighter format, or will you be extending it to a, a quarter final, maybe? Well, if you go, look how much trouble we've had with us with four fights. One pulled out the week before, so. Law of averages says if you're doing it over a longer period, if you have more fighters doing it, there's more chance of more pulling out. So we'll, we're going to stick with four. Okay. All right, brilliant. Well, um, I've you pretty much answered everything I've got. So um, I hope everything goes smoothly tomorrow and again in Portsmouth and up in Manchester. Thanks a lot. And we'll talk to you in the new year. Fantastic. Thanks a lot.